And Greg, good morning. I'll start with you. So the free agent market could be robust for Gilmore. What do you make of this? Uh, this was very shocking, simply because when you look at the Patriots and what they do good and what we how we last saw them, they play really well on defense. We saw J.C. Jackson. We see the success that he's having, and you have him coupled with Jalen Mills. But if you can actually couple him with Stephon Gilmore, the defense is the strength of this team. Now, they're not a shutdown defense like we saw a few years ago, but they can really do some special things. And when you add Stephon Gilmore, you automatically think, well, wow, we got our two corners. So you think naturally you're going to wait if you're Bill Belichick for him to get healthy. Obviously, this is a money deal as far as the organization and cap issues. So they felt like it was best for the team. But as a player, you have to be shocked when you allow a talent like Stephon Gilmore, Gilmore to walk away uh, basically uh, with nothing in return. And so for yeah. me, I think it, it can potentially hurt the Patriots because I, if they were going to do this, they could have gotten something for Stephon Gilmore, regardless of the injury there would have been bidders. There would have been takers out there waiting for a cornerback like Stephon Gilmore to acquire and give them some type of assets in return of Stephon Gilmore. So it is very shocking to me. Yeah, I, I wanted Gilmore on the team, Greg. Obviously, he's a great player, and he's been great. This is actually a good day for J.C. Jackson, though, because he's due to get his contract. So he'll get his money uh, in the offseason in the Patriots' <laughs> Secondary will be great. And look, we all watch Patriots uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay has an explosive offense. Did anyone come away from that game saying, you know what, the Patriots need to spend more money on their pass defense? I didn't. And this is Bill Belichick's M.O. Like, look, we know, we know you're in line for a big contract. We're going to move on. And, and, Nick, I'm not ruling it out. And reports are still coming in. I'm not ruling it out that Belichick did Gilmore a, a solid here. And be like, you know what? We could trade you to Nowheresville for a fourth-round pick, but we'll release you, go wherever you want. I think you could end up on your Chiefs. I think it would be smart for him to go to Tampa Bay, take that old, you know, take 95 from Foxborough down to Tampa Bay. They've had great success. So I think either of those two teams, I'd like Bye, to drive. see him play for a winner. I think Belichick may have done him a solid here by releasing him. Yeah, listen, everyone's going to connect him correctly as, and smartly, as you just did, to the Chiefs and to the Bucks. They're the, you know, the two teams that played in the Super Bowl last year, and right now they're two teams that need tremendous help in the secondary. The question I would have is, is Stephon Gilmore going to play for anyone that doesn't sign him to a long-term contract immediately? Because if that's the case, I think that would take the Chiefs out of it. It might take the Bucks out of it. And all of a sudden, it becomes a little more questionable on how and who is able to sign Stephon Gilmore. Or is he going to just try to get another ring this year, show the world he's healthy, and then cash in huge in the offseason? We'll find that out. And by the way, he's got to get fully healthy, recovering from that quad surgery. But I, I just want to quickly go back to Wilds for a moment. Because you can put a happy face on this all you want, buddy. But this is a bad moment for you and your Patriots for a number of reasons. First one is, I do not think Bill Belichick does this if he thinks the Patriots are competing for anything this year. Secondarily, all year long when you've talked about the Patriots, you've added, and we don't even well, have Stephon Gilmore. Well, now you well, might as well true. say, and say we don't even have Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> he ain't coming back, buddy. He's gone. So that team that you have seen the first month of the year is the team you're going to have the rest of the year. And if you think that team's good enough to beat good teams, you're watching a different game than me. Because I watch a Patriot team. Do I expect them to beat the Texans this weekend? Yeah. Do I expect them to beat the Jets when they play them again? Yeah. But Ooh, it's hard to find good. a lot of other wins. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, they'll win six, maybe seven games. But this idea Come of on. we spent $150 million in free agency, we're going to be back in the postseason, wave goodbye to that. The, you guys just caught no, no, the no, no. best player on your entire team. 
Okay, the best player on the entire team hasn't played Broussard, and we're doing five. We're, we're doing fine. We're, we're, doing at, fine? we're at a solid one you and are? three. And I know, and I know <laughs> one and three might seem solid bad. Solid one and three. But it's, a, but it's a hot one and three. It's a hot one. We're feeling good coming off the loss. We're going to stack some wins. And look, this is, this is what Belichick does. You say we got the same team. We're going to get Jamie Collins. I tr- the, the rule of thumb is this, everybody. Just trust Bill Belichick. Granted, we're one and three, but we're a hot one and three. I like Gilmore. I wish he was on the team. But you know what? Once a Patriot, always a Patriot. Maybe he comes back. Maybe he'll come back like Kyle Van Noy. How about that? He'll Maybe come he'll come back next year. Yeah. No, Wilds, I'm with you. And, and I'm with you in that I picked New England to make the, pay- the playoffs, and I still feel good about that pick. I think Belichick no, looked at what don't. happened against Tampa Bay, and he said, like, you, obviously Gilmore is better than who they have out there now, but they're still pretty good pass defense without Stephon Gilmore. Why would you sign him up long term? He's not old, but he's older. So why sign him up long term when you've got these guys out there who look pretty good without this? So now the question is, where's Gilmore go? And look, obviously, Kansas, both Kansas City and Tampa Bay need to be doing everything in their power to get him because both of those teams could be derailed, not by the offense, but by the defense, and particularly by the pass Correct. defense. So I think he does end up in uh, Tampa Bay. Obviously, he's got a relationship with Tom Brady. Uh, Brady's bringing everybody down there. It's kind of like the Lakers, LeBron bringing everybody to the Lakers. So I would be very surprised if he doesn't end up in Tampa Bay. And boy, oh boy, is that going to be a great move for them because he's just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, and I will add, Nick mentioned that Belichick is is doing this pretty much because he's hanging up this season. I don't think that that's the case at all. I think he saw, like you said, Wilds, what they what their potential was against a really good offense. Yes, the Bucks have struggled defensively and overall as a team, but their offense is explosive and the conditions played a huge part in that. Maybe he yeah. no one's paying attention to that, but that defense did hold their own with who was out there on the field and to add a guy who you're going to have to pay. In the situation that there he's in right now, Stefan Gilmore, Yes, I think, Nick, to your other point about will he sign a deal uh, on, on, uh, that's not a long-term contract with right. one of these teams, he obviously weren't, was not willing to do that with the Patriots. I do believe that's because there was no, there was no guarantee or a feeling of we can win it all. They're, with Stephon Gilmore this late in his career. But with the, the Chiefs, yep. with uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, there is that opportunity. There is that potential. So maybe that sweetens up the pie for one of those teams because he would be willing to then take uh, just a shorter term or just play on the Absolutely. deal that it currently stands and then extend in the offseason. After proving I am right. still that guy, I am still able to play at a high level in, when I'm healthy. And I'd add another team that I think is going to be involved in this, and that's the Cowboys. All of a sudden, they have Trayvon Diggs. You add Stephon Gilmore, and what we thought could have been a weakness for them could be a strength. They just cut Jalen Smith somewhat surprisingly. So if they could make the money work there. But I want to say something to Broussard real quick before we go. Broussard, you know how much I love you and you know how much I respect you. (laughs) <laughs> and I, I, there are many things I respect about you, but n- near the top of the list is you are with me on a commitment to take integrity. With that said, I'm going to extend you an olive branch. You don't have oh. to say to America you still feel good about the Patriots making the playoffs. <laughs> you does. said that. I could Thank see you. Sorry. I could I see do. you I almost do. throwing up when you good said teammate. it. If you want to give no, me, I'm letting you right now, it's like it's like what the cops do for old warrants. Amnesty. If you give me amnesty for my for my Falcons pick. I'll give you amnesty for your Patriots pick. You got to no. stick with the Saints. About. It's all but about I'll give Atlanta. you amnesty no. on the Patriots it's all about Atlanta. if you the, want it. The Don't. Patriots are mu- in much better shape than the Falcons. They are much better shape. I'm oh, sticking no. with them. No. Yes. in your place. I'm okay. sticking with them. All right, you. that was your chance. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.